Okay, fam, and welcome back to my channel, New Normal with CJ. I am super excited to share with you four holiday savings tips that you can use to save big time money this holiday season. In fact, I used these four savings tips today at Old Navy and we saved $370. That's right, $370. That was a lot of money, okay? So I'm excited to share our Christmas pajamas haul with you as well as the other things that we purchased at Old Navy and those four holiday savings tips. So stick around. The first tip that I want to share with you is to shop early. That's right, shop early. If you don't know already, and I hope you do, we are facing like a huge container shipment crisis where uh, these cargo ships are like backed up for like 12 and 14 weeks. So for the most part, uh, experts are really expecting that a lot of the things that people are going to be wanting are not going to be here in time for Christmas. So they're telling everybody to go ahead on and to shop early, go ahead on and start knocking out that Christmas list. And so I am one of those procrastinators, okay? So this, me starting today is a really, really early. So my father in love came over today and he loves to shop. So it was an encouragement from my husband and I to get the kiddos and we all um, went out and had a great time tonight but one of the places that we stopped was Old Navy and I'm going to give you another example of why you really want to shop early after I show you some of the stuff that we got for Aubrey. So um, Aubrey chose, it's kind of big, I don't know why she likes big things but I do love the soft color of this. Um, so it's like an outer jacket. She also chose this one. As you can see, she is definitely girly girly. So it's another cardigan. And she um, purchased two sweaters that um, was not in her size. So like even now in the stores, they don't like have everything. So we had to kind of like, I guess, order them online and they're gonna be shipped to the store. Um, in fact, I wanted to get some shoes for Lucy and they no longer had a size 10. So that's definitely, definitely an example of why you really want to go ahead on and get out there as soon as possible. Because if not, everything is really gonna be picked over and or they just will not have what you want. I'm gonna go ahead on and share with you guys our Christmas pajamas. And let me say this, last year we were matchy matchy, okay? So we didn't really want to do that this year. These are my bottoms. I love this pattern. My husband has a very similar pattern. Um, they are definitely not the same type of material, but very, very similar, um, the pattern itself. So um, he has not gotten his top yet. It's not gonna be a top that actually matches this. We're gonna do something different. Um, the top that I chose to go with mine is, I believe it had Christmas five and it was gold. Unfortunately, it did not have the size that I wanted. So that was another item that we had to order um, to be shipped to the store. Now, Aubrey, and I think it's really cute. She chose this shirt right here. Let's see, Jolly Guys. And this is her bottom. So as you can see, she kind of went totally different from Jason and I, but we're gonna bring it all in together. And this is Miss Lucy. So she has the same type of shirt, except it is long sleeve and her bottoms are different. So as you can see, the girls are gonna be matching up top. Mr. Jackson. So Jackson is gonna have the same pattern that Jason and I have, both the top as well as the bottom. And so you guys are gonna just have to follow me on New Normal. And if you don't do that, we are New Normal with CJ on Facebook. So when my um, other clothes come in, or my top and whatever we decide on Jason, so that you can see it. Tip two, don't be brand loyal. Um, I have to admit, I am a Target type of a chick. Um, now, I don't like to always spend the Target money, and I don't always, but um, 
I can't stand Walmart. <laughs> and I honestly never, never really shop Walmart like that. Well, maybe about a month ago, I started shopping Walmart. I got Jackson um, a lot of bottoms and tops. I also got some things for um, Aubrey, um, a, a dress set for Lucy as well as a sweater for me. Okay, so hopefully in this season, you guys are gonna be more like me and not be so brand loyal. I promise you, I think I have even been pleasantly surprised at the quality of some of the things that I found at Walmart. So definitely don't be brand loyal. All right, before I go on to number three, I want to go ahead on and show you some of the things that we got for Little Jack. Look at there, isn't that so cute? He's in like a, a 18 to 24 months now. Um, he's just turned one, but he's a, a good size baby. Here's another little shirt. I think his granddaddy picked this out because I didn't, but it's really cute. Um, here's another reason why you guys definitely need to get out there and shop early. I wanted more of these Old Navy flannel shirts, but this was the only one that was in the size that I was looking for for him. So once again, already it's just evidence that you are not going to be able to find everything you want. So once again, go ahead on and get out there. And even if you are not buying like this second, start getting out there so you can see what's out there. So you won't be so shocked when you eventually get out there, because I'm telling you, it's just a bit different um i've never gone in store so much and seen um not seen so many things that i actually like so it's not even the, the choosing is slim to be real honest we got this one too i think it is adorable and then we actually got him four pair of pants so these are like um some navy khaki like pants and these are some of the um, cargo khaki, I guess, type pants. Um, those are cute. And then we got him these really cute jeans. And um, I'm, I really love the quality. This is the waistband. He should have it for a while, as well as that it has the adjustable straps. Um, that is Jackson. He's crying. I'm gonna have to stop. Um, let's go ahead on and show you these. Here are his other pair of jeans. I love them and his shoes. So that's all for Mr. Jacks. Lucy, we didn't get that much for her because you're gonna see in another video that we got a boatload of clothes for her. So we got her this little carnigan and I think it's so cute. And then for myself, I got this sweatshirt, this hoodie. I'm like feeling this this season. So, and I think I'm gonna get a couple more. Okay, I'm back guys. Um, unfortunately, Jackson still wakes up in the middle of the night to comfort feed. And I just don't know how to get the poor baby to stop. And um, I am his human bottle, so he doesn't take the bottle. I've actually even tried to give him a pacifier, but he is like, girl, please. But anyway, all right, so I think I owe you two more tips. And the third tip is become a rewards member of whatever your favorite short store is. So basically, if I were you, I would kind of narrow down the places. At one time, you know, I would shop here, 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 there, there. Narrow that down to one or two of your favorite stores that have a really good rewards program. So once again, when I started this, I told you that we purchased like 400 and about $85 worth of clothes today. And we ended up paying drum road da, 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 about 115 dollars out of pocket now i bet you're saying like wow how did she do that well one we are reward members with old navy and today i think they had like their member and family 50 percent off your entire purchase so you had to be a rewards member to actually get it um and so off the bat we saved 255 dollars so that wasn't bad, right? In addition, Jason's dad paid for half. And um, I think this is a season where we have to be strategic with grandparents and those who love our children. We couldn't ask for better grandparents, aunties and uncles. Um, they love on our children. 
so much. And in prior times, we wouldn't say the kids need blah, 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 da, 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 unless, you know, they asked. Uh, but I think now is the perfect time to say the kids need or to provide them with a list. So matter of fact, Aubrey had her list already. She made copies and she gave it to her granddad. Um, so just, and maybe you can be strategic about what they're getting. Um, because once again, even though our parents and aunties and uncles like to love on our children, we have gotten plenty of gifts or my kids have gotten plenty of gifts that they could have cared less about, right? So my thing is right now during this season, don't buy somebody something that you don't know if they are really gonna love. And at this point, I would just share my list. And if you are the grandma or the auntie, just call that person, that child, that whomever and say, hey, you know, what is it that you're interested in getting for Christmas? Maybe I can help, you know, uh, scratch some of those things off of your list. So if you guys do those four things, one, shop early, so get out there now. Two, don't be brand specific. Three, become a rewards member and um, cut down on the number of stores that you are shopping at. And four, share the load. I forgot to also add that because we were rewards members, we actually also had like a $17 credit that we used to help bring down that total. But anyway, as you can see, I am still smiling from ear to ear because I feel like we did uh, awesome awesome job um, with what we got um, and I'm really excited. The kids look forward to our um, family pajama Christmas Eve night. Uh, we also use those same pajamas to take like family Christmas pictures in so we probably would vlog that as well. We generally just uh, take our own pictures, get our box lights out, use a couple of our Christmas de decorations and do that. We did it last year, you know, it was the middle of COVID. It turned out well, so we will probably do it again this year. Uh, anyway, that is all. I hope you guys are having a lovely, lovely day. Bye.